Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Houston Astros. And now, your 2000. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Astros. Just about set to go and towing the slab in this one. Justin Verlander. What's the word on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So just about set now. Here's a speed threat. Jazz Chisholm. Left hand hitter waits. Stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well. Laid on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Next pitch is in the dirt. And the count's even at two. Here's a high chopper. The throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. The shortstop. Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas at the plate. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. That hits the dirt, and it's two and two. Good eye right there. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Man at first with one gone. And next is the designated hitter, Garrett Cooper. Next offering is down low. Now two and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. At the belt and fires. Out to short. Pena. Off balance speed. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. And now the Astros go to work for the first time. No score. of the first getting the nod on the mound Sandy Alcantara what do we need to know here well Boog along with great stuff that he has he has consistency I mean this guy's got a proven track record you know when he takes the ball and goes out there to compete he's going to give you everything he's got unload the tank try to pitch deep into the ball game and he almost always finds a way to make it very tough on opposing lineups even when he doesn't have his best stuff and that is the mark of a true competitor And here it comes. Two and one. And there's the strike. And a pitch. Stays alive. Here's the two two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Why the kick the pitch and a foul ball left side next offering down in the dirt
And that one lifted in the air center field. Sanchez glides back, brings it in, one up, one down. Batting second, not shortstop, Jeremy Pena. And next to hit for Houston, Jeremy Pena. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Ground ball left side and that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. And oh. delivers outside. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. And down on strikes he goes. And that is the third out of the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. Scoreless after one. Back here in Houston, all set for the start of the inning. Here's the veteran outfielder, Abasail Garcia. So now one and two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Stays alive. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. But that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even That's if it's it. still in the strike That's zone, it. can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Jorge Soler up at the plate. And a pitch. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. The wind of the pitch. That's outside. Three and one now. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Full count. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. The 3 2 oh, is oh, off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. And up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Jesus. And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Soler over at first with one away. Got him. That's the second out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Fouled off down the right side. Yeah. 
Fly ball down the line. Tucker glides to his left. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is that. Marlins leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. The 1 1. There's a strike. Alcantara, he's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around by walking guys. That one misses. Ball two. Yeah, he throws strikes, and you know he's got the command, be in the zone, be effective, but just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher, Boog, and throwing the pitch. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout, you've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Kyle Tucker. Next offering is in for a strike. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today? because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Keeping guys off the base pass with the way the swings and the launch angles are today, the emphasis of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back there. That one is gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. One out, base is empty. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Next offering is in the dirt. Yeah, I think the other part, though, as well, is it goes both ways because I think that guys at times are more than willing to give up walks because they'll come back and strike the next guy out. Out to short, Rojas over to pick it up. Tosses across the first, and Guriel is out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Michael Brantley. Two outs, base is empty. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. He's got a nice, short, compact swing. Doesn't swing and miss a whole lot. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's Joey Wendell. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. In the air, left field down the line. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a pro or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Now, Lewin Diaz. Wendell at second with nobody out. Next pitch misses, two and two. Oh. 
Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Jazz Chisholm now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. So the tying run at second. That's hard hit in the line. McCormick pulls that one down. And there's two down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. He reached out a walk his first time. The next pitch misses, and now three and one. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Righty delivers. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Next offering is fouled back. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. So, first and second with two outs. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. And a pitch. There's a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. The run comes in from second. It's 1-1. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Avisail Garcia up to the plate. That one misses, and the count is 3-1. and one. Righty to the plate, and they're all loaded up. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Jorge Soler, the next up for the Marlins. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is foul back. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Huge strike out there. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
back here in Houston. Yeah, the batter now, Chaz McCormick. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches. Throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Lined, and that's a base hit. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Two outs, runner at first. And stepping in is the speedy Jeremy Pena. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And a one-two. Chases that one out of the zone, and that will end the inning. One left for Houston, still tied, one-one. Back here at the ballpark, start of the fourth, and at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. One one now. That clips the corner. He needs a quick one two three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The pitch. The other way. And it goes just foul. And a one-two again. Two-two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. A swing and a miss. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Jacob Stallings now 0 for 1 so far. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting in today's world of baseball compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout, and there's two away. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it, and I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And now Joey Wendell, right side. Tucker has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that'll do it. Miami down in order. Score remains deadlocked at one.
And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, your Don Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Next offering is in for a strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Left field, way back there. That one back. Holds it in on the warning track. Third baseman, number two, Allen. Bregman. Now it's Alex Bregman. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind and the pitch. Two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And here it comes. Little chopper rolls foul. The 2 2. That one drilled left field. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now it's going to be Kyle Tucker. Bregman stands at first with one out. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And Tucker is retired. Out number two. The first baseman, number 10. Yulia's now it's Yuli Gurriel. Chris, Gurriel. baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in day out yeah his swing is so good it's in the zone a long time he gets the barrel to it a lot and that produces more base hits and the righty deals lifted in the air right field Garcia in position makes the grab that is the inning so the Astros leave one score remains tied 1-1 Welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Lewin Diaz. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. And it's off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Now that the second baseman. Here's the second Jazz. baseman. Jazz Chisholm. Kicks and fires. And that one gets away at the plate. And the runner holds. Runner at second, nobody out. Center field. McCormick puts it away. Runner tags at second. Safe, he beats it.
So digging in, Miguel Rojas. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. One away with a runner at third. Fly ball to right. Tucker makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline and he's in to score. It's 2-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. And the 3-1. That's in there. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Payoff pitch. And he walked him. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Cooper off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Bullpen activity starting up now. Will Smith, the left-hander, up and throwing. Abreu, the right-hander, also getting loose. Here's a one-two. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. Two and two is the count. Good job at damage control right there. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins two and the Astros one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Michael Brantley. And a pitch. Off the no, mark there. It. The and it's two and one. In the air to left down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Now the center fielder. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. His first at bat was a strikeout. The wide to kick the pitch. Off the mark ball, there. Look. And that's ball two. That one missed. Ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The 3 1. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Stallings under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two up, two down. Now batting, catcher, Marti Maldonado. Martin Maldonado up to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And a pitch. Foul ball. And the next two, two. pitch is way outside. And he deals. And ball. there's a ball. Ball count. Two. 
two outs. And that one fouled off. Popped up first base side. And it falls. And that extends the inning. Oh, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Paid a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Going to count one and two. One and two now. Altuve waits. And a ball evens the count. And a 2 2. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The relay throw. It's offline, and he scores. We are tied at two. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So a runner at third, two men out. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. And one and two. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Two outs with a runner at third. Foul ball there. Now he breaks his bat. Chisholm picks it up, gets it to first, inning over, and it could have been worse. But the Astros get one on the RBI triple. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Jose Urquidy, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here in Houston, all set for the top of the sixth. Now at the plate, Jorge Soler. Next offering Ball, upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. Ball. That's a nice miss right there. You got a full count. And here's a 3-2. It's a leadoff so walk, the and that's the go-ahead run. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Guriel handles the chance, one away. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. And the pitch. That clips the corner. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Stanek up and throwing. Solaire, the base runner at first with one out. Bregman 
Throw is low, and he can't pick oh, it. Thanks. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Up next to the line, the third baseman, Joey Wendell. Next to hit, Joey Wendell. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, one out. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Roll to short, could be two. Over to Altuve. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. Lewin Diaz, the next up for the Marlins. Chopped in the ground, and he grabs it foul. Next one just misses, and the count's full. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Marlins strand a pair. Score remains 2-2. Bottom of the six at the play. You're Don Alvarez. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here's a 1-1. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases, and they grab the lead. It's 3-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Here's Alex Bregman. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Way back there. And that one is gone. Alex Bregman sends it out. And they add a run. It's 4 2. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Braxton Garrett. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground, right side, and he grabs it in foul ground. Next pitch just misses. Three and two now. Movement in the bullpen. Eliezer Hernandez appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Oh, 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. And he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Here's Guriel, and now the lefty falling behind 2-1. And it's second. Short hop liner handled it short. Toss to Diaz. A great play deep in the hole. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley stands in. Left hand batter waits. Tapped softly on the ground. Chisholm picks it up, throws to first, and they get Brantley for the out. Up next to the Astros, the center fielder, Chad McCormick. Chaz McCormick now at the plate. Tucker on third with two out. So now one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. They limit the damage here. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 4-2. Back here in Houston, top of inning number seven. And now, Jazz Chisholm. And foul ball. Bounce to the right. Altuve slings to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. The 1 1. And that's outside. Nope. 2 and 1. And the right hander deals. There's a strike. 2 and 2 is the count. One down, base is empty. That's out to center field. Makes the grab after a long run. Two away down. Up next for the Marlins, the designated hitter, Garrett Cooper. Two outs, base is empty. Garrett Cooper getting ready to hit. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Avasail Garcia. A strikeout and a walk. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. The tying run at the plate. And that's outside. At this point in the game, you cannot free issue free passes. No He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Mm -hmm. 
stays alive. Payoff pitch. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly there in some hot water trying to protect this lead. First and second, two outs. Here's the left fielder, Jorge Soler. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 1 1. Swings through that one. Right handed reliever. Got him! Out number three. Ready to get it. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the catcher comes up to him. Martin Maldonado. Next offering is fouled back. 2-2 Two -two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they boost their lead. It's 5-2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. The great pitchers are able to tease the outside part of the zone with the breaking ball. That means that it looks like it's going to be a strike, but finishes off the plate. Well, that one finished on the outer half, but caught just too much of the plate and hit for a home run. Jose Altuve, the next to hit. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Full count. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. On the ground to third. Wendell fires over to first. And they get Altuve for the out. Now batting. And a shortstop. Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. And a big swing and a miss. Seems like from day one, his strike zone and plate discipline looked like he'd been in the league for six years already. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And there's ball That's four. four. Take your base. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Alan. Bregman. Alvarez, the runner at first with two gone. And he gets Bregman. And that'll do it. Astros not your run on the solo homer. It's now 5-2.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Rafael Montero trying to protect this lead. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next offering is way upstairs. Here comes a pitch. To third. Bregman to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Well, that ball off the bat ticketed for the outfield and a base hit for the hitter, but just taken away by the diving stop. Nice job. And here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Strike two. Two and two. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Next pitch has popped up. Guriel handles the chance. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Now the third baseman, Joey Wendell. And a 1-1. Swings through that one for strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. One and two now. And it's fouled away. Bounce to the right side. In time to Guriel. Marlins set down in order. And the Marlins down quietly. They trail at 5-2. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And now here is Kyle Tucker. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left field. Solaire drifts towards it. Makes the grab one away. The batter, the first baseman, Yuli Esky. Yuli Guriel will hit next. The wind of the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Garcia brings it in. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting left fielder, Michael Brantley. Here's Michael Brantley. That one lifted to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Nothing doing there for Houston. They're still out in front 5-2. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball.
Welcome back. And here is Lewin Diaz. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch misses way outside. Next offering is fouled back. Got him. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Righty delivers. Pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. Righty to the plate, and now just two outs away. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. Check swing at the full count offering. Appeal to third. No, he held back. That's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. The 2-1. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Here's a 2-2. Stays alive. Two 2-2. Two. Popped up. Guriel handles the chance. Two down. Now that the designated hitter. Man at first, and now the DH, Garrett Cooper. The 2 2. Line drive. Base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. That's tremendous fight from him, and. I know it's got the dugout fired up down there, down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Now it's the right fielder, Abasail Garcia. That one the other way. The catch is made to end it. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything, some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.